comfort, equipment, amenities, quality, performance, and status. They reflect both the status of their owners and the brand image of their manufacturer. Luxury brands have always ranked above premium brands. Traditionally, most luxury cars were large vehicles, though smaller sports-oriented models were always produced. Compact luxury vehicles such as hatchbacks and off-road capable sport utility vehicles are relatively modern trends. L the mechanical makeup of the top of the range performance version of the Mercedes S-Class limousine luxury car hasn't changed much in more than a decade. Since this car has a Leviathan of a twin turbocharged petrol V12 that produces 621 and 738 of feet of torque, you could argue it hasn't needed to. It's an engine capable of sending a two and a quarter ton, 5.3 meter long, rear driven limousine from 0 to 62 in just 4.2 sec and that's before it's really settled down, found its legs and got going, don't forget. And yet the S65 is still a proper luxury car, with uncompromising ride comfort and refinement, which is why it gets a mention at the foot of our super luxury class rankings. It offers onboard comfort unknown to anything else of quite the same performance level, and its huge reserves of torque make it so effortlessly potent to drive that it's hard to believe how little you need to do to make something so large travel so quickly. The S65 isn't a super saloon, though, and its chassis much prefers smooth, wide roads to testing narrow ones, the latter giving its air suspension and stability control a lot to think about. Even so, when in its element, very few cars in existence manage to seem at once so naughty and so wonderfully nice as this. Cabin design is a soaring high point with both the S63 and S65. These cars boast interiors that look opulent from every angle, with tasteful styling and the finest materials. The front seats come with a massaging feature that delivers a spy experience. Sedans come with rear seat legroom that's expansive enough to provide limousine-like comfort. Effective insulation keeps things suitably muted within the cabin when the car is in motion. The S63's list of standard tech features is exhaustive. It includes a 13-speaker Burmester surround sound stereo as well as Bluetooth phone and streaming audio. Sirius XM satellite radio is standard, along with wireless device charging and navigation. All models come with a Wi-Fi hotspot and Apple CarPlay slash Android Auto smartphone integration. The options list includes a rear seat DVD player with wireless headsets. Every four seat convertible is a rare type of car indeed. Mercedes offers an open top four seat S Class, while Bentley has had its added drop top and now Continental GTC. But Rolls Royce has, at times, offered more than one four seater Super Cabriolet within its model range over the last decade. And while the convertible version of the current generation Phantom has yet to materialize, its equivalent from the smaller Ghost Wraith model Strutter the Dawn remains very much a part of Goodwood's model mix. The company used uncharacteristically racy terms to describe this car when it was launched in 2016, billing it as the sexiest Rolls Royce ever built. Whether you agree or not, there's no denying the car's blue-blooded credentials. It uses the same platform and 6.6-litre twin-turbocharged petrol V12 as the Wraith Coupe, producing 563.575 of feet of torque, which is down from 624 in Wraith Tune but still enough to eclipse the vitals of the earlier Phantom Droffet Coupe. Rear hinge doors provide easy access to the Dawn's cabin, which seats four adult passengers. Occupants will be dazzled by the gorgeous butter-soft leather and acres of real wood trim. Buyers can opt for a siding function for the front seats and thick lamps will floor mats that pamper the tootsies of anyone lucky enough to come along for the ride. As for storage space, the Dawn's trunk is on the small side for a large cut blame the convertible top for that but it should provide enough space for a pair of carry-on suitcases. Touchscreen infotainment is standard, and Rolls-Royce offers a TV tuner as an option so that passengers can watch their favorite programs while on the go. Navigation with real-time traffic updates is also provided a standard, and an 18-speaker stereo system provides enough sonic punch to drown out the wind and road noise when you're cruising with the top down. the top rung, long wheelbase Range Rover has come a long way as a luxury car since the Genesis days of the famous SUV upon which it's based. The modern SV autobiography 
hand finished as it is by Land Rover at its special operations base near Coventry, is a car that's now fully 5.2 metres long and 2.6 tonnes in weight at its heaviest. It was conceived to take full advantage of the embryonic market for super expensive SUV and the high regard some have for the Ranger Rover brand, and it does so quite effectively. Offering a choice of a petrol vate, a diesel vate or a four-cylinder petrol plug-in hybrid powertrain, the SV Autobiography is a strict four-seater with lounge rear chairs, around each of which you can arrange a fold-out aluminium tray table, while a sliding panoramic sunroof contributes to the remarkable senses of light and space on board. The interior materials are more tactile and expensive than those of a standard Range Rover, too. The interior is beautifully finished, but limited headroom for rear seat passengers dings what is meant to be a sense of effortless luxury. Even an entry-level full-size Range Rover will make adult occupants in the back feel more special. Dimensionally, the Bella sits between the compact Porsche Macan and mid-size Cayenne SUV. Rolls-Royce Ghost The Ghost luxury cars were a line in the sand for Rolls-Royce when they appeared in 2009 the beginning of a transformation that took the company's annual production volume from hundreds of to several thousand cars per year. Using mechanical underpinnings adapted from those of the BMW 7 Series, the Ghost made Rolls-Royce ownership more accessible only slightly but significantly so. The management's view now on the decision to use those BMW Group mechanicals may reasonably be imagined to differ somewhat from what it once was since the next Ghost will move on to the same all-aluminium Rolls-Royce-only platform that the Phantom and Cullinan use. While the Phantom is very much a car in which to be driven, the Ghost was intended as a car for the well-heeled driver and its dynamic character reflects that. Slighter torta riding and more agile than the Phantom partly by virtue of its more compact proportions, it lends itself more readily to the cut and thrust of daily motoring on traffic-clogged UK roads than its bigger brother. Rolls-Royce does more than enough to justify starting price that's more than double that of the 7 Series. Naturally, it comes standard with leather-wrapped everything, lamps or carpets, and yards of sound dampening. You won't find any faux metal or fake leather upholstery. Rolls-Royce even updates the infotainment system to remove all traces of German influence. Still, we maintain that the first modern Phantom, launched in the early 2000s, as the best interior of any Rolls-Royce ever. It had a beautiful clock where the infotainment screen is usually found these days. And there was but one button for the media player. You pushed it to turn the music on, turned it to make it louder, and pushed it again to make it go away. As we've said many times before, luxury is simplicity. Luxury is not technology. for passage through the auto car road test evaluation process. Being the first in a barrage of 100,000 plus super SUV had come to market in 2016, we first rated it highly, with a caveat or two, in W12 engine form, and then rated it high steel when Bentley introduced an Audi sourced 4.0 litre, 429 turbocharged diesel vate in 2017, which made exactly as much torque as the 12 cylinder petrol motor but at more accessible crane speeds. Then, in 2018, amid the spreading toxicities around diesel engines, Bentley removed the Bantaker diesel from sale in Europe, and with it removed from view what we consider the definitive version of the car. A vape petrol model augmented the model range in the same year, while a plug-in hybrid arrived in 2019. There is now also the speeder 626 p 182,000 p into excess. The Bentayga's wonderfully plush interior, its swell of torque-laden performance and its sense of imperious, singularly enveloping luxury make it stand out even in this class, and these qualities might even be potent enough to win over a cynic who started out opposed to the idea of living in a blue-blooded SUV. Filled with rich-smelling leathers, real wood trim, and glitzy metal accents, the Bentayga's cabin stays true to its luxury branding. Bentley allows buyers to customise just about everything. My addition to the super luxury car segment arrived in 2018 in response to a significant amount of Rolls-Royce customer feedback that a more day usable, all surface capable, family practical model would be a very welcome way to augment the firm showroom range. 
the Cullinan has been met by enough criticism of its design, from all quarters, to have said in aspic a sense that its maker has taken a significant risk in introducing a car that some have described as awkward and unlovely and others have slammed in even less sympathetic terms. But if Rolls-Royce's market research holds true, and a year's worth of confirmed orders is a good sign that it will, the collective revulsion of those who wouldn't have bought a Cullinan anyway will do little to prevent it from becoming a commercial success. There is certainly as much to like about life on board this car as there might be to dislike about either the idea or the appearance of it. This is a true Rolls-Royce, and among its dynamic strengths are outstanding mechanical refinement, unimpeachable ride comfort, and excellent drivability. The spacious cabin is lined in box grain leather, lambs wool carpeting, beautiful wood trim, and milled aluminum accents. If you want an even higher level of luxury, Rolls-Royce will customize almost every part of a Cullinan's already lavish interior with whatever delights you can imagine. The only warts in this otherwise decadent space are the fully digital gauge cluster that lacks the elegance of an analog setup and the standard rear seating that's as inflexible as a park bench. At least buyers can rectify the latter issue by optioning the two-seat second row with adjustability and massage functions. The exterior is classic Rolls-Royce, but the vehicle's liftgate configuration allowed the brand to fit the cargo area with an optional viewing suite consisting of a pair of leather-wrapped seats and a small table that pop out of the floor. This is by far the most luxurious way to take in a polo match at the country estate. Even though this SUV is a clear break from tradition for the stored British brand, it's still an uncompromised Rolls-Royce in every way. Every Cullinan has a large touchscreen infotainment system with a redundant controller on the center console. Apple CarPlay is also included on every model. The available rear seat entertainment option adds a 12.0-inch screen to the back of each front seat. Along with a Wi-Fi hotspot, the Cullinan has a bespoke audio system that features 18 speakers. aristocratic, whose presence announces itself from hundreds of yards away and whose agenda is all about serving the interests of the passenger first and the driver a definite second may sound appealing in theory. But if you suspect the reality of ownership of such luxury cars might not appeal quite as much, don't worry, because the super luxury class has something for you too, the Bentley Mulsanne. Deliberately more modest and discreet in its appearance than a certain key British limousine rival, the Molson is a top-level luxury four-door. It feels less formal than the Rolls-Royce Phantom, and its interior ambience is more like that of the panel smoking room of an old gentleman's club than the Phantom chandelier ballroom. The material quality, the luster and natural appeal of its wood veneers and the tactile allure of so many of its fittings are second to none. A good helping of driver appeal has always been part of this big Bentley's motive character. And so while the Molson doesn't ride quite as serenely as some of its closest competition, it handles and responds with more vigor and verve, thanks not least to its torque turbocharged petrol vate. Made with the finest materials and outfitted with luxurious features, the Molson's cabin is a utopia compared with most cars. The leather suede space can be personalized with a variety of color schemes, veneer options, and creature comforts such as massaging front and rear seats. aristocratic, whose presence announces itself from hundreds of yards away and whose agenda is all about serving the interests of the passenger first and the driver a definite second may sound appealing in theory. But if you suspect the reality of ownership of such luxury cars might not appeal quite as much, don't worry, because the super luxury class has something for you too, the Bentley Molson. Deliberately more modest and discreet in its appearance than a certain key British limousine rival, the Molson is a top-level luxury four-door. It feels less formal than the Rolls-Royce Phantom, and its interior ambience is more like that of the panel smoking room of an old gentleman's club than the Phantom chandelier ballroom. The material quality, the luster and natural appeal of its wood veneers and the tactile allure of so many of its fittings are second to none. A good helping of driver appeal has always been part of this big Bentley's motive character. And so while the Molson doesn't ride quite as serenely as some of its closest competition, it handles and responds with more vigor and verve, thanks not least to its torque turbocharged petrol vate. Made with the finest materials and outfitted with luxurious features, the Molson's cabin is a utopia compared with most cars. The leather suede space can be personalized with a variety of color schemes, veneer options, and creature comforts such as massaging front and rear seats.
latest four-door Continental Series limousine luxury car started off its modern life as the Continental Flying Spur in 2006, only dropping the nomenclative prefix that links it with Crew's current two-door GT with its biggest model overhaul yet in 2014. But the Flying Spur is now in its third generation, something that's not difficult to detect from the Prada more muscular design, which borrows heavily from the most recent, attractive Continental GT Coupe. Cruise Junior Saloon also benefits dramatically from a new platform, which was co-developed with Porsche and uses four-wheel steering and active anti-roll bars. It also better insulates the fantastically opulent cabin from the road and provides the basis for genuinely good driving dynamics. Grip, balance and steering are all noticeable improved. Of course, there is the same calling cart 6.0-litre twin-turbo W12, which makes 626 plus bottomless torque and fires the car to 62 in comfortably less than 4 seconds and onto a top speed of more than 200 mph. Versions of the spur equipped with Bentley's lighter, more freely revving weight and a six-cylinder hybrid powertrain are also do. Sumptuous leather, genuine wood trim and real metal accents line the flying spur's interior. In the front or back, there's plenty of space for adults to stretch out and enjoy the luxurious environs. Bentley's interior designers managed to preserve the brand's prim and proper styling while incorporating modern tech features. Earnest and greatest luxury conveyance in motor dom was replaced by Rolls-Royce in 2017 and given a glittering five-star road test welcome by our road testers shortly thereafter. Owners will love it at least as much for the extravagant statement of wealth and status it endows and for the unmatched sense of occasion you enjoy when travelling in one. However, while many won't ever know as much, the latest Phantom is also an utter joy and a rare pleasure to drive. Its superbly comfortable and singularly isolating ride comfort can be sampled from the back seats, of course, and is like nothing else you'll encounter in a car, gently loping and deliciously indulgent feeling but also supremely quiet and smooth, despite Rolls-Royce's fitment of a lattice run flat tie technology. Yet the precision feel and the perfect weight of the car's large rim steering wheel is remarkable. Likewise, the ease with which you can place such a huge car on the road, the tolerance it has for whatever rate of progress suits your trip, the supreme refinement and flexibility of its V12 engine, and the progressiveness of its throttle pedal on step-off.